Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide. And in this video, I want to share with you the five biggest mistakes to avoid with Pinterest promoted pins. The fact that there are currently 100 million active Pinterest users is not the only reason why you should be using Pinterest to market your business. The other reason you should seriously consider using Pinterest is to access its advertising network. Unlike other social networks such as Facebook, for example, where users go to browse rather than shop, 93% of Pinterest users plan purchases on this network. So using paid ads on Pinterest, also known as promoted pins, becomes a no-brainer. However, before running an advertising campaign on Pinterest, make sure you avoid these five common and costly mistakes. Mistake number one, not having high quality images. Since Pinterest is above all a photo sharing website, it's important if you want your ads to stand out to use eye catching images. Don't combine multiple images per promoted pin as it will end up looking too busy. If you plan to promote multiple products on a single promoted pin, then don't exceed four product images and make sure the overall pin has a single theme. For example, should you be selling baby clothes and accessories, you can create a promoted pin selling an individual products such as a pair of shoes or display multiple pairs of shoes without including other products in the pin that are irrelevant to the theme. The size of your pin is as important as the quality of the image. Make sure your promoted pin is vertical rather than square. The aspect ratio for example could be 2 by 3 and the width of your pin should be a minimum of 600 pixels. So a pin that is 600 times 900 pixels is usually a perfect size. Mistake number two, not designing a funnel. Another common mistake Pinterest advertisers make is not mapping out a funnel before launching a promoted pin. Instead, they just send traffic directly to their website or sales page. Although this can still convert into sales, it's trickier when dealing with cold traffic who doesn't yet know, like, or trust the brand. Instead, a good habit to adopt with promoted pins is to send traffic to a piece of content such as a video, article, or blog post. Then, within the piece of content, promote a lead capture page to capture people's email details for follow-up emails for those who didn't purchase anything yet, upsells and downsells. Then end your funnel by sending people who have opted in to a sales page. Of course, your funnel doesn't need to end there. You can create follow-up emails with people who have completed a purchase by promoting other similar products as it's easier to generate sales from an existing customer than from a prospect. Mistake number three, creating one hit wonders. When setting up a promoted pin, don't just rely on a single ad to bring you the traffic and leads you need. Instead, promote multiple pins, testing the image and the description. You'll soon notice that some images and some descriptions perform better than others instead of relying on a single promoted pin. For example, you can create three ads, each one with the exact same description but a different image. Then wait a day or so to check which ad performed the best and switch off the other ads. You can even run the same ad targeting different placements. For example, one ad to be displayed on iPads, another ad to be displayed on mobile devices and a third ad displayed on desktop computers. You'll soon notice that one of the ads will perform better and you can easily switch off the other two ads. You can even run multiple ads uh, each one targeting different sets of keywords. For example, you can run an ad to sell a beauty product targeting keywords around anti-aging, then create the same ad targeting keywords around face cream and another ad targeting keywords around skincare. That way you can easily monitor which groups of keywords perform better and switch off the one with a set of keywords that performs less well. Mistake number four, not optimizing your account. You'll notice that when you launch promoted pins, your ad will also have a link back to your profile. Should people see your ad and click on your profile link, it's important that your account doesn't look bare. Make sure your bio is completed and it underlines how you solve a specific problem or what you specialize in and what makes you unique from everyone else. Also ensure you have a profile picture. Your profile picture should either be the logo of your business if you are not the face of the brand like Starbucks for example, which has a logo. or Put a headshot of you if you are the face of the brand, like this person has. Plus, make sure you have several boards that have several pins. The themes for each board should be relevant to what your target audience would be looking for and not be random topics. Ideally, your account should have a decent number of followers. Anything from 1,000 followers and above is great. Mistake number five, keyword targeting. With Pinterest promoted pins, you'll have two choices when deciding 
on the targeting. You can either target people according to keywords or according to interests. When you target people according to keywords, your ad will appear when people type in one of the keywords you're targeting in the search bar. For example, if your ad targets the keyword weight loss, your ad will appear when people type in the search box the keyword weight loss. If your ad targets people according to interest, it means it will show on the newsfeed of people who are interested in specific topics. A good way to proceed when choosing your targeting is starting with keyword targeting first. Then check your audience analytics, which will show you the interests of the people who have clicked on your ads. That way, the next time you run ads, you're sure to make the right choices in terms of interests instead of guessing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on the five biggest mistakes to avoid with Pinterest promoted pins. Remember to leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel to receive the latest social media tips straight to your inbox.